you know, when a trade happens and somebody walks up to me at work and says, you know, this guy got traded for nobody. I go, mm, I think he got traded for somebody. And that is the case with Nicholas Chalmerson, now an ex-Chicago Blackhawk and a member of this team. So, cap dump? Absolutely. Uh, this is this is the price to pay. But, Connor Murphy, not bad stats. Played the whole year in the NHL last year. Laurent Dauphin, or Lauren Dauphin, um, he's likely American Hockey League. He's likely the guy that gets called up from the minors for Chicago this year when somebody gets hurt. Um, Fill-in type player, depth guy. It is, uh, it, it's, it's a tough trade to take, honestly, for Chicago. Because, on the one hand, with Saad being acquired in a video that I'm just uploading now, and I'm... I'm watching the the draft, but there hasn't been. It's been somewhat surprising to see who went number one, and now I'm watching number two get picked. But we'll get into that later. Um, this trade is is pretty amaz pretty amazing. In that, Jalmerson was supposed to be worth more than this, and I'm not trying to diss Connor Murphy. It's we have been told via the media that these guys are gonna get this amount or they're looking for this amount or they're looking for this or for that they didn't get it so again it feels like the marketplace is a lot tighter than GM's wish it was this is why when everybody's like oh the Canucks should trade Tanev and they're like they get this and they'll get this and they'll get this and I'm like no they won't and that's Kind of how I feel watching the Jalmerson move. Jalmerson, it, it doesn't feel like... It feels like this is a good return. It just it doesn't feel like... For Jalmerson's game and for what he does for the Chicago Blue Line, it doesn't feel to me like they got enough back. Connor Murphy, again, NHL-level defenseman. He'll he'll definitely fit in there. It'll be a, a, a good mix for, for him, I think. But... Is it a downgrade? Physically, yes. But it's the cap hit. It's all about the cap hit. So it, it gets Chicago into a position where they're better with the cap. Because keep this in mind, Chicago also wants to be able to improve their team. If they're going to take another run with this core, and this core is still young enough to do so, they have to be able to make improvements. Well, you can't make improvements when you're already over the cap. So first you have to get under the cap. And that's what these moves are designed to do. Not so much the sod move. But this one definitely. And and Jalmerson definitely was never a defenseman to write home about offensively. His his offensive numbers never jumped off the page. And they won't in Phoenix either. But this is interesting to me. So and, and there's a trade still to come for me to talk about involving the Coyotes. Last night, the Coyotes coach mutually parts ways with the team, and today two trades are announced. I'm wondering, and I'm putting this into this video for Arizona fans, did management pull Tippett aside and say, this is what we've got coming up? And did Tippett say, that's stupid. I want no part of that. Or that's not going to fix it. What are you doing? Is, is this what we're seeing now, that the team said, okay, then you're out as coach. We we aren't on the same page, so these are the players we're going to get. And are they, they taking these players now, and they'll try to sell this roster to another coach? It's an interesting idea, and it, it's it's the angle from this that I find most fascinating. Because this, this trade, and the other trade, which I admit is bigger, but this is connected to what I've already reported with Chicago... So I figure I'm going to do this one now, and then we'll do the other one. And the, the whole draft thing we'll get into as well. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. So, And it's 27 degrees, so if I'm going to do a live stream, I'm not going to be able to wear jerseys the whole time because it's just too hot for that. Um, in fact, it's 27 outside. I'd say it's probably hotter in, in this room right now. So I can do 
five, six, ten minute videos and then, you know, get changed and cool myself down and do another video for you guys. Can't do that during a live stream. I can't keep excusing myself every ten minutes. I'll be right back. Where's he going? What's he doing? So there there you go. Um, thank you very much for uh, for 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 being subscribers if you are and if you're not, subscribe. And let me know your thoughts on this trade. This is this is interesting because is it a precursor to something else Chicago is going to do? Are they picking up space, picking up space, and then are they looking at someone? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.